get after it. Essentials. Polar pop, which is root beer, two apple fritters, and that. Oh, and I gotta make sure I have my calamine lotion. Got some damn poison ivy everywhere. It's on my legs, too. Not contagious, so I'm good. Beautiful this morning. Gotta love it though. Nice foggy morning. I'm on my way out to Worcester, Ohio. About a 25 30 minute drive from my house. Since I switched back to merchandising from Pepsi, I've been getting. Uh, Since I'm kind of the new guy back, per se, I kept my seniority on my vacation. 
all that stuff, my pay, the whole nine. But I lost my route seniority, so now I get the far away places and the uh, kind of shitty routes, if you want to call it. It happens. I'm able to see my wife more and be able to do more. So, to me, it doesn't really bother me too much. But, oh well. Alrighty, YouTube. Doing a little update while I'm doing this. Sorry I haven't been active a lot lately. Probably the past, you know, six, seven months. Even more, actually. Um, as you guys may see in one of my previous videos, I went to the warehouse of Pepsi. Um, they're working me like a damn dog. Uh, a lot of hours. Wasn't seeing my wife. So I said, screw it. And I went back to merchandising, what I originally did. Uh, it was a pay cut back down. Went from 19 to 16. But... I'm able to see my wife more, do more stuff. Um, haven't been active in a lot of stuff lately. A lot of stuff's been going on. Um, just had a tooth pulled about a week and a half ago. My wife got a new job. She quit her current, her, before her current job. They were treating her like shit. So she quit, found another job working for Harbor Freight Tools. Loving that, get it. she gets a real good discount, and they're only paying her forty cents less than what she's making at the other place, and she's only five minutes from the house, so that's not too bad. Excuse me. Uh, Help my dad move into his new house. Uh, his girlfriend moved up from West Virginia to be up here. There's a lot of home improvements that have been happening recently, just helping my in-laws, uh, seeing my cousins, seeing people. Uh, we're in the process of training my dog. We're having him sent off to be trained for a 15-day boarding train. Um, him being a pit bull, I really want him trained. I want him, you know, certified trained and everything. Um, that's costing roughly $3,300. So I've been kind of, my hustle's been really hard lately. And just haven't really had time for a lot of stuff. I've been active on, you know, watching your guys' videos, commenting on them, doing stuff like that. But so much as creating content, creating anything like that, I just, I haven't had time. Um, my father's uncle passed last week. Uh, he lived up in New York, so we had to deal with all that stuff. Just got a lot of a lot of personal things going on. Not so much bad stuff, but just stuff that keeps me busy, per se. You want to call that? Uh, both of my brothers. When my dad switched houses, uh, both my brothers moved out into their own places. Uh, one of my brothers lives in Parkville. One of my other brothers lives in Portage Lakes. So I've been helping them with everything. And with 4th of July around, it was our busy time. Memorial Day, before all that, these holidays really for, you know, this company. We're busy. We're busy and shit. In the next couple clips, when we get to my first store, my first store is, I'm heading out to Worcester. Uh, my first store is the Walmart. And then I have to do a Bueller's and a Discount Drug Mart today. Um, that should be about a nine and a half, nine and a half, ten hour day, depending on how, how fast I work. But I'm on overtime, so any type of uh, hours I get right now is extra money. I'm trying to catch up on all these bills, catch up on a bunch of things, put some money away, 
because I got to pay off a 401k loan that I've had. And when I pay that off, I'll be taking out another 401k loan. And that'll allow me to pay for my dog's training and allow me and my wife. Because when we got married, we didn't take a, uh, we didn't take a honeymoon because of all the commotion that was going on at the time. So now we're going to be taking a honeymoon slash vacation, if you want to call it. Looking at going down to Florida. I got family members down in Fort Myers and King Coral and on Marco Island. Uh, take a trip down there, fly down there, and then we're going to work our way up the coast. We're going to get a car, going to work our way up the coast. Probably stop Virginia Beach, probably in Jersey, probably. You ne never know where we're going to end up, but it's going to be about a week long trip. So, that's pretty much what's been going on. The scrap game has been heavy lately, though. I've been pushing a lot of loads out, a lot of money. Um, did a couple clean outs. Uh, been getting stuff from my dad, stuff from my brother-in-law, stuff from my father-in-law. He's, he's a mechanic. He's a ASC certified mechanic. And he gets, he works on everybody, you know, everybody goes to him like, hey, I need this done, will you do it? Of course he's going to do it, you know, people pay him and everything. But he, he doesn't deal with scrap, he's old school, he doesn't, he doesn't want to deal with it. Um, he used to donate it to the Boy Scout troops when he was part of the Boy Scouts, but he's no longer involved in that because my two brother-in-laws have been out of it for years and his, uh, his grandchildren, which are my brother-in-law's kids, are no longer involved, you would call it. So he just sets everything off to the side for me, you know, radiators, rotors, um, gave me a couple catalytic converters, which those things, they're good money, but they're such a pain in the ass to deal with. Because some yards, some yards will take them if you don't have proof of where they came from, but they pay low with the yard I go to, they want um, written proof if you get it from somebody, or they want the VIN number to be matching for your car. But I know all the people at the scrapyard I go to, actually one of the Waymasters I went to high school with, and they know who I am and they know where I live so they can just if anything bad they can find me pretty much but I didn't have to show proof but if you have more than I think it's more than two you have to show proof of where you got everything how you got it and what not the other because there's a guy down the road he's got a muffler shop he brings all that stuff all the time and he has to uh he has to have written proof of where like he's got a list that he has to bring him all the cars he serviced, the sign off on him. It's a lot of work. I think depending on they're paying anywhere, depending on your like which one you have. I think it's uh I had a small little baby one off of a cobalt and they paid me $15 for it. But some of them, uh, I know some of the Silverados and some of the big boy trucks and stuff, those uh those fetch a little pretty penny. So, but with the next couple clips, you guys are going to see some of the stuff I do as a merchandiser. And we'll just go from there and see how this video ends up. Oh, and to re -add real quick. Um, it sucks going out this far because out here, these guys, they throw so much shit away out here. Um, it's kind of a richier area, if you want to call it, but it, it's all country. But just on my way here, it's trash day for them today on Saturday, which is weird. Um, I've seen a shit ton of scrap, but as you can see, I'm not in my truck. My truck, I will not drive to work because I will lose money in gas. Uh, so I drive this little Corolla, but there's so much stuff I pass daily if I'm out here, oh, it's ridiculous. But, another close by area, if anybody's ever heard of them, it's called Orville. 
Orville is the home of Smucker's Jam and Jelly. It's the area I'm in. So there's there's a lot of money out here floating around. So you see everybody out here, they throw a lot of good stuff away. And being out here in you know hillbilly country and Amish country, which Amish are real big out here. Half the population out here is Amish people. Um, see the big old yee yee trucks and everything out here, and it's, it's quite interesting at times, I'll say that. Look at all them pretty trucks. <laughs> one day I'll have a GMC jacked like that. God, I want one so bad. Good old Walmart. First stop. This is gonna be fun. Shelf's not looking too bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. We're gonna keep a lot of our back stock. Not too bad. I gotta go check, sign in, and check my order. It's a lot of product. Gotta get it out though so people can buy shit. Gotta love that Liberty Brew. America. Starting to come in this morning. They buy so much stuff, it's unreal. But it's really good for business. Sales are about here a lot, a lot of money. Because they'll come in and they buy cart pools and stuff all the time. All the time. Because they turn around, they either they consume a lot of it, or they turn around and they sell it in their stores at a higher price. Which, whatever, not my problem. running out the door for me, which is A-OK -okay to me. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July. I know I did. So, I'd really get 4th of July. Spent it with some family, some friends, my wife. So it, was a, it was a really good day. Who drinks this? Knock off shit. I don't know how people can drink that stuff. It tastes horrible. The thing is, people say, oh, it's cheaper, it's cheaper. Not really. If anything, 
it's like 60 cents cheaper. If that, but sorry with the taste, you're gonna want to spend the 60 cents. Or otherwise you'll regret it. Lipton teas. My absolute favorite. And yes, Lipton is part of the PepsiCo products. People didn't know that. Yep. There's nothing on the shelves. Two pallets down. My third one right here. There's so many different types of products. 12 ounce 15 pack or 7.5 ounce 15. 12 ounce 8 packs. 2 liters. 7.5 6 packs. Your half liter 6 packs. Your 2 liters. Your 12 packs. Your cubes. It doesn't include the water. Everything else over there. And also my fucking competitor. Their stuff looks horrible right now. And you got your cheapy stuff over there that nobody buys. But it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's slow here in Walmart so far. But give it a couple hours. It'll be busy as anything. But hopefully by then, on to my next door. If you haven't had a chance to try this Liberty Brew yet, you might want to get it before out for the summer it's our 4th of July Liberty Brew we're selling this 20 ounce and 16 ounce putting some of it up here Doc Mountain Dew my all time fave Pepsi when you finish the store that's how it's supposed to look full and complete well Five and a half hours later, out of Walmart. Getting some food right now. Piece of ham. Plate lunch special. Six bucks for everything. see a lot of pop that bad thing is that'll sit for the next couple days this is discount drug mart out here in Worcester coke stuff 7-up stuff and Pepsi put up that much product Definitely a slower store. It's not one of your busiest stores. But nobody knows what a discount drug mart is. It's a, like a little, it's a little side place. It's a little mom and pop place turned commercial. Got a bunch of a bunch of stuff here. Shelves all filled. It should be good. Going from a nice day to a really dreary day. Gotta love it though. Oh well.